Hi, welcome to cooking with me. Um, so we're gonna make cheesy sweet potato fries. We are gonna make falafels and we are making Greek chicken. Now, right now I've done a little bit of prep work already today, just because otherwise this video would be like two hours long. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna chop up, I chopped about five sweet potatoes into fries. Um, put olive oil and salt on them and they are currently in my oven being taken up by my whole oven uh, for those fries. I have not put the cheese on them yet because that is the last thing that I'm gonna do when I broil them. Um, it's just not time yet. They still need to cook a little bit longer in there. Um, otherwise, you're gonna want two cans of chickpeas, some cumin, um, you're gonna want some salt, you're gonna want some parsley. We have toast here who wants to say hi. Um, onion, garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, all of the lovely spices, a little bit of paprika, all that good stuff. So what you're gonna do is you are going to drain your chickpeas, two cans of them, like so. Toast is probably gonna be obnoxious this whole time, so I apologize. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mash them. We are going to mash them. You're also gonna want some dill, because um, we're also gonna make a dipping sauce. You'll want cucumbers on the side, and then the chicken, if you have any, should be marinating in kind of, I just use a Greek dressing, so what I use is the Primal Kitchen's Greek avocado oil. This is what I use. Um, you have seen that before in other videos when I've done Greek chicken, so it is the same thing. Um, it's currently marinating. Like I said, my oven is being taken up buy the sweet potato fries right now because they take a while. Um, so that has already started. Eventually these will also go in the oven along with the chicken, but that is not a right now thing as Toast bites my, uh, my legs right now because he wants attention. But that's too bad because we are cooking with me in my chaotic kitchen. So again, we are just gonna keep doing this. Um, if you want to, you could keep, ow, Toast, the aquafabe, um, which is kind of the, the juices of the chickpeas. You can use that to make um, egg white replacement. Um, you can use it to make buttercreams, meringues, all of that stuff. Um, it's got a lot of a lot of uses. I poured mine down the drain <laughs> because that's just where I'm at right now. So, but you can use it. It is a helpful tool to use. I just don't want to bake anything. I've already baked brownies today, so. I don't need the aquafabe right now. To be honest, I don't know how long it saves. So I would have to Google that information. So we are getting this super mashed right now, looking like mashed potatoes. And what I normally do is I actually make, here we go. Okay. Um, make falafel waffles. Uh, I have a little tiny waffle maker and I sometimes make those, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna roll them up into balls and bake them. So, we are going to grab our paprika, our onion, our garlic. We're going to grab our dill, which we're gonna keep also all of these spices out because they're also gonna help make our sauce um, or our dipping, our dipping stuff. And some parsley. And I need cumin. I knew I forgot some of the cumin. All right, so you are currently on my olive oil. But I'm gonna add salt. You can add pepper, I'm just not a fan of it. Yeah, sure, that's enough. And I'm going to add some dill. I don't want a lot because I want the uh, dipping sauce to be very dilly. I'm gonna add some paprika, which might change the color, but that's okay. Some garlic. I don't measure, I just look and I'm like, yeah, that seems correct. Leave that out for the sauce that we're gonna make. Parsley. Toast, stop eating things that you're not supposed to eat. That's the rest of that, so. And some cumin. All right. Toast, stop 
with biting carpets. All right, we're gonna grab some of our olive oil. We're gonna put that in there as well. Potentially we'll add more, not sure yet. I gotta see how it mashes up. Uh, and then I'm going to just put this over to the side so we can smash garlic and cut our onion. So we've got our onion. I'm gonna move my garlic over to the side here. Smells delicious up in this kitchen right now with all the spices. I'm always terrible and give up with white onions and I just kind of peel that outer layer off even though I know you don't have to, it's just easier. Um, and then I'm going to chop this up. So I like to do four and then I just chop it small. Doesn't have to be super small. You can also use minced garlic, um, minced onion, if that is a thing in grocery stores. You don't feel like doing this yourself. Um, I just like to do it myself. Because cooking is a thing that I like to do. And you're kind of gonna make these like meatballs. Just different seasonings. All right, so we got that going for us. Grab some garlic. Now I know some of my garlic is not doing so hot right now. So all of the bad cloves I am taking off. Honestly, it may or may not be all of them in this, in this bunch. Oh, it definitely is. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab a different garlic clove. <laughs> I've had these cloves for months and for some reason they are all turning in my closet. Uh, so we have one garlic clove. We're gonna grab a couple more cloves here though. four of these. Put this back. Utter chaos in this kitchen. All right, so from here, I am a smasher. So I'll go take my knife. Move you guys here so you can see me. Here is my cutting board. I'm gonna smash it. What this does is easier to peel. You can also shake them up in a mason jar, but I like smashing. I think it's more fun to smash. Personally, but that's just for me. That's just what I think. And you could put more or less garlic. Honestly, it's garlic to your liking. Whatever that is for you. garlic always sticks to my hands. So one thing about garlic. Get the buds off and then we just chop, chop, chop. In a minute because I'm gonna get all of my little papers into my hand and throw them in the trash because we clean while we cook so that we don't have to do it afterward. So here we are. We got our garlic. We're just gonna chop it. I normally start with a rough chop to get them smaller and then I'll do a mince. Wish I had some fun facts for you guys, but I don't, maybe next time. Definitely more on a focus on the food, don't cut yourself with a knife person. All right, good enough for me. Rough chop into the bowl. Lovely. All right. Um, you will also probably already have your cucumber chopped and ready to go as well. I just cut mine into slices, so. Cucumber, 
already done. Because we don't need to watch me chop a million and one things. We're gonna put our cutting board in the sink for a And now we have our falafel, which is just looking like bowl stuff right now. Um, so let's mix it. Get all the seasonings in there incorporated. Sometimes I find it easier to just use my hands um, to kind of smash things together. My wrist is not happy right now. Um, but we looking like a falafel as all the things fall, but that's okay because I just cleaned my kitchen the other day. Perfect, so we're not gonna need any more olive oil, which is great. I'm just gonna keep mixing and smashing until you get this really beautifully colored slop for lack of a better word that I can think of right now. Look at that. So pretty. All right. So now what we're going to do is check on our fries. We're going to see how cooked they are. We're going to see if we can add our cheese. Hi. Gonna get loud. Not that loud. Ooh. Perfect. So we have some fries. They're gonna look like this. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some cheese. So I use Pecorino Romano. It is a sheep cheese. So if you are lactose intolerant, sometimes you can have goat and sheep cheese. I am the sometimes I can have goat and sheep cheese. So we are going to microplane this right onto our fries and then it's going back in the oven. Only one tray, we're gonna do two. So into our oven, grabbing that second tray. I like to have the fries spread out because they just cook a little bit better. And again, we are just going to put this cheese right on top of our sweet potato fries. going to go and bake. Right on back into the oven for a couple more minutes. Get the cheese bubbling and then we will take them out. So while that's doing its thing, we're going to take one of these guys, we're going to make our balls, we're going to shut that fan off because it's way too overwhelming, um, and we're going to shape. You can make them as big or as small as you want to. I make them the size of meatballs. So the palm of my hand. Sometimes bigger, sometimes not. Just depends on how I grab it. And these may or may not fall apart. Um, I did not add an egg binder to these this time. You can, um, I did not. I don't mind a flaky, crumbly um, falafel. But you can add egg, you can add, um, breadcrumbs as a binder if you want to. I think that they bind pretty well just being a bean. Um, like they hold pretty pretty well here um, without anything in them besides spices and olive oil and 
garlic and onion. We're just gonna keep making our meatballs. And by the time we're done with this, it'll have been a couple of minutes, we will be able to take our sweet potatoes out. And we will put these guys in the oven. I just like to wait till they're nice and golden. Um, could take 20 minutes at 350. Um, could take more than that. I go by eye. So just make sure you're keeping an eye on it. I normally turn them around every uh, 10 minutes anyway. So that's kind of how I run my life. 10 minutes, flip things around. here. My sleeve rolls down. All right, so we have made 12 falafels, um, which is plenty <laughs> of falafel, believe me. You are chicky sensitive. You're probably gonna only have two of these um, in your meal. So basically, you're making enough for the whole family. If you've got like a family of four, everybody gets three of these. Maybe there's a leftover, maybe there's not. Who knows? All right, so these are ready to go. We'll put them in the oven in a minute. Sweet potato fries just need a little bit longer. Um, so we're instead going to make, because I don't think they'll be done in the amount of time that I want them to be. So we're gonna end today. Sweet potato fries are still in there. They'll probably take them out, or I will probably take them out as soon as I end this video. After that, I'm putting the chicken in there. I'm putting the falafel in there. I'm getting those cooked up. Um, like I said, chicken, y'all know how to cook chicken. Put it in there bake it 350. Um, I'll also be baking my falafel at 350 for about 20-ish minutes or until golden brown. Um, you'll notice that will be a little bit more brown than the brown color they already are. Um, but now we're going to make our dressing, dressing, our dip. So we're going to take our garlic aioli. Again, Primal Kitchen is the loveliest brand um, made of really good, really, really, really good ingredients. Um, so to make our dipper, I normally don't use the full thing. I always tend to just fill a little bit of that and then we're gonna add to it. So that way, the problem kitchen is a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, I'm gonna add some onion. I'm gonna add some garlic, even though it's already a garlic aioli. I'm gonna grab a little bit of paprika, but not a lot, cause it will turn red, just a little. I'm gonna put these guys back and I'm gonna mix that and then we will add in our dill. So, it's a very easy, very, very easy dip. It is avocado oil based mayonnaise, oil, whatever you want to call it. But it's a very, very easy, simple way to do things. We have that mixed in, I'm gonna add my dill, and I do add a crap ton of dill. Um, I love dill, I think it is a great herb. So I add a crap ton. I want this thing smelling like dill. Um, it will take a minute to kind of mix in there, but once it's in, it's gonna look like a green gloopy mess, and it is just so delicious. Oh, it smells so good. We love herbs and spices. All right, so this is what we can dip our falafel in. We can dip our chicken in it, our sweet potato fries, our cucumber. It's just really all coming together um, here in this chaotic kitchen today. Boom, all right. We'll put that in the fridge until everything is ready. Um, this meal does take a little bit more on um, the timing aspects of things 
on the prep section of things, but it is a really good meal if you're looking to do like a date night dinner or something like that. Um, so that is that. Like I said, we made sweet potato, cheesy sweet potato fries. We made dip, dill dip. We chopped up cucumbers, you didn't see it, but they were done. Um, we have our chicken still marinating because I just put that in the marinade a few hours ago and I do want it to marinate for a couple more hours before I do throw them into the oven. Um, I will be using the same dish as my falafel, which are currently made and about to go in the oven as soon as I pull out the sweet potatoes. So we got falafel, we got Greek chicken, we got cucumber, we got cheesy sweet potatoes, all that we can be dipped in this dinner. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be so good. You're gonna have a great time with it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment below and enjoy this dinner.